Uh oh, could have some drama here. Fight, 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 fight. I got tire coming off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This morning, first day of a doubleheader. Got the first practice underway. Sounds like a lot of carts out here. The uh, parking lot was pretty empty when we went to bed last night, but it's really filled up. Uh, no Casey this weekend. We hate that, but he's uh, heading down for my daughter's wedding and needed an extra day with his infant. So uh, we'll see how things go today. He still has to edit this stuff, so. Uh, we'll try and give him some good material, but I'll tell you what, you cannot draw up a prettier day than what we have today. It's just grand. As you can see, I'm still wearing the blue of Casey. Um, Mom won't be here until this afternoon, right around the time the races get started, so I'm with Casey's suit until then, so it is what it is. Um, it just feels weird, man. It does. It feels like I'm cross-dressing. You know, there's a lot of parents out there and you know all your kids are different. And Casey and Ben are pretty different. And they're both fun, both good kids. Ben, when you're out here alone with him, he can be a lot of fun. <laughs> right up until you want to pop his head off. And I tell you, he's wearing me out already. <laughs> Who knows what I'm to blame for. But watch for it in the... Uh, Watch for the video. See how many times I get blamed for something this weekend. But uh, thus far, <laughs> unbelievable is all I got to say. All right, so we just finished all of our practice sessions. Um, felt pretty good. I was able to run with the front guys in every group uh, that I was out there with. I'm not saying I was faster than them, but I was able to at least hang in there, hang with them. Um, felt pretty good in practice. Dad. No, he seems to be a bit moody today, so he must not be having that great of a day. He's also very quiet about it, so we'll see what he's doing. We got visitors coming right now. So is this the ideal day? Your favorite son out here? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't have any other baggage. No wife, no kids, no Casey. Just me and my boy. And it's kind of like fishing. Just nothing but the quiet, chatting, talking about... Leaving life. my stand life. in somewhere where... Say what? You said, well, you said talking about, and I said leave my stand somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. You know, talking, getting blamed for stuff. I mean, you forgot my suit, and then you're not helping me with my stand. to a business degree from Indiana University. I had two psychology classes. So I think it puts me in a pretty good position to understand the frailties of a human mind. And there's none more frail than mine when it comes to go-kart racing. And so I qualified better than I usually do. And I was about to grab my phone and look at the speeds, look who I beat, who I hadn't beat, because it's all a mystery to me. And I know I'll see it when I'm on the grid, but I just decided, you know what? You qualified eight, go out and run like you're eight. <laughs> Which is something that I'm afraid if I looked at the time, I wouldn't do. So we'll see if we can't uh, uh, get the eye of the tiger and go out and, and uh, you know, maybe even improve on eight. Wouldn't that be something? We'll see. Where'd I go? Well, I, I just want to know what you thought first. Oh, you know what? I was pulling in on some people, but I'd say mid-pack. Well, you got eight. Seriously? Seriously. All right, Ben's heading out for qualifying for his first race, CIK, of a four total this weekend, given the doubleheader. Hopefully he does well. He seems like he's been fast all morning. So I'm going to say definitely a top 10 in CIK. Maybe we'll see a top five out of Ben. 
qualifications number one out of the way cik uh done for so far good good uh good news i got fourth out of about a billion it seemed like um pretty good run i did make a, a mental error and i thought i was clear of a guy on my second lap and i accidentally got him off track yeah sorry grant i apologized to him at the time but not not what i wanted to do there just made a mistake tell you what man these kids are like freaking like 16 15 i don't know high school kids i don't even know if they can legally drive yet but they're they're solid they're fast and so that's kind of what i'm trying to do is catch the kids um but starting fourth great starting spot to make a good run for the final next up is the CAK sportsman qualifying so hopefully we can put together a good run and maybe come home with a pull on that one sportsman class qualifying just ended and it was it was a pretty stupid run uh i and i'm not saying let me preface this by saying i was part of the problem not the solution but just fighting in qualifying is never a good idea and we're not allowed to bump draft so it's just you get screwed and everybody gets screwed from it so that happened but ultimately it did work out all right for me um i say that kind of laughing because it's just funny because i don't know I, i've got friends in this class it did not work out for but uh <laughs> it is kind of funny well it worked out for me uh but i did wind up winning pole i'm still wearing casey's suit i'm what marinate marinate a little bit more mom's here now she uh brought my suit but like i said just let it simmer a little bit it's not super hot so i'm not really sweating but I don't know, it's done well for me so far, so I might just keep it on for the day. We'll see. Got a little problem here. Seat breakage. See what we can do. I'm all right, thanks. Drove ben? too hard. Drove too hard, put it on the pole. This is the price you pay. I know. So Ben, what are you gonna do here? Are you an expert seat repairer? I'm not. Casey's probably the best at it. And of course, he's AWOL, MIA, freaking would be. He's probably on a beach drinking a Mai Tai with his seven month old in his hands so selfish um so yeah we're gonna just go ahead i was just telling dad i kind of forget what we do here um so we'll, we'll see we're just he, does, do he doesn't package. forget he's just never done it before I've, I've done this more than you probably three times more than you have okay then you got it so you won't see, get to see casey in this vlog but you will see ben and dad talk to him on the phone a lot because i think he has fomo and he's really missing out he's already called me twice and i send him texts but that's not enough he needs to hear their voices so um ben is qualified fourth in sportsman no 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 fourth in cik first on the pole in sportsman and dad is qualified eight out of 20 how many was it 28 uh, so that's awesome. I, that's the best he's qualified other than his Riley race. Um, and they are about to start the Masters race. Hey, nice effort, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> you can tell this hasn't happened very much. Yeah. Everyone's, good job, buddy. Everybody's amazed. No more so than me. Dad, that was a fun race to watch. You did a great job. I uh, just made a lot of little mistakes. We got things to work on now, but it was a big step. Good job. Yeah. This is a section of the vlog I'm gonna call it Deep Thoughts with Ben, all right? So I'm gonna try to do this a little bit frequent, but like just things that are on my mind that like I don't know the answers to and just, I don't know, I think are interesting. So uh, maybe Casey can do like a little Deep Thoughts with Ben, like a little thing down here, up here, or somewhere. I don't know, he's the editor, not me. Um, but so today's Deep Thought is like, is time different for small, like, I guess, creatures or organisms versus large beings, creatures or organisms. The reason that I thought about this is because there's one of these like little sweat bees right here and I try to smack it and it's obviously quick enough to where it can escape. And I'm wondering how that is. Cause like, I'm freaking fast, right? You guys know I'm fast. And so I'm sitting here like, well, then you see in like movies and stuff, a giant or like somebody who's like a billion feet tall, the way that they like move is really, really slow and stuff, but if I was that size, would it still feel like I'm like moving the same speed or would it seem like I'm like really slow? Cause like right now it feels like I'm fast, but if I was like microscopic, but I like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Cause like ants and stuff, they go. This is what I'm talking about. Deep thoughts with Ben. Let me know what you guys think. There have been lots of aggressive tones and Pepper no shake still in a good battle for the lead. Colin Brush words. What's going on here? Trying to put this back together. Pre grid. Pre grid. K 
Casey might not be here in body, but he is here in spirit and in suit. How many times today have you missed throwing something in that trash can? What do you mean? Two. <laughs> Kobe. Kobe now. Mama mentality. Not even looking. Alright, we're done. Put it in the trash can. Okay, well hold on. First of all, I have to do a stay to it. Like I said earlier, Casey's not here, but he is here through the cell phone. I uh, just likes to hear their voice. I don't know, like my front end, I'm as near as I can go. So for those of you who are really big fans, just like me, of um, your favorite member of Stall Racing is Finley. I wanted to show you and give you guys a little sneak peek of what he's doing. So Casey and Sarah went down to Florida. Uh, they left yesterday and they made a two day trip with Finley who is almost seven months old and so bless their hearts. They got there and he apparently did great. He was quite a trooper. So they sent us this picture while we were at dinner of him. There he is. They're at the beach. So if you were missing, you now have your Finley fix for the week. He is just the sweetest little nugget. He's getting so tall. He's so strong and pretty soon I'm sure he'll be ready to hop in a cart himself if mom lets him. I got stuffed off track. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm back in my street clothes. So that's because the last race of the day, the sportsman race, just ended um, a bit ago, and I decided to change out of my clothes. And uh, oh, it was good. I mean, so this is the race I qualified on pole, and it was, again, it was a good race. Um, I just didn't, I didn't feel comfortable. So to start the race, there was some crazy wreck. There was a red flag. We had to stop it. And then we were paused for like 20 minutes or so. Once we got restarted, literally pretty much nothing changed. Everybody was pretty much in the same spots. Um, and took the green again and instantly I just felt bad, man. Like my front end just seemed planted. So I, I did the best I could. I still ran okay times, not where I wanted to be, but uh, I was getting pushed by our buddy Eric. He was out there uh, really pushing me away from people it, it was mostly him doing the work i i'm leading for 11 laps or so with eric right behind me we get that two to go sign uh and then i get passed by him um actually a couple guys passed me And then so we were just single file with uh, one lap to go and I'm in third and I was just like, you know, what can I really do here? Uh, guys in front of me went too wide going down to the second last corner and I really had to pick and choose. Uh, I went with Eric, he had a great run on it. I thought maybe I could push Eric by and then after the last corner I could maybe have something for him coming down the straightaway. Uh, I completely screwed up that last corner. I mean, I pushed Eric by but I just, completely messed it up and it was a drag race um, down to the finish line for for second because Eric was long gone at this point and I uh, wound up taking home third but huge congratulations to Eric man congratulations I just said that um, earned it for sure you, you helped me for the first 11 laps I was glad to help you on the last one uh, long overdue you earned it man congratulations all right stall racing vlog has a fan and your name is Sam, tell I Sam, now you're a racer, right? Mm -hmm. You do pretty good. All right. What do you like about the stall racing vlogs? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Just a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your favorite character? Ben, Casey, or Dad? Don't know. Just enjoy. <clears throat> a little pressure to say him. All right. So, uh, you watch him every week? Uh, yeah. What do you usually eat when you have the? vlog on. A little popcorn? I don't know. 
dinner. Dinner? <laughs> All right. Well, what uh, what classes do you race in? Micro and L206 Cadets. Well, thanks for coming on. Thanks for watching our videos. We appreciate it. All right. All right. See you. Flipping tires here. Um, I'll tell you, I saw an amazing video online. A kid named Casey Stahl shows you how to flip tires just by getting all the angles. I used to, I used to wrestle with these things all night, but since I saw Casey's video, I can do four tires in four minutes. We'll put a link to that in the description. You know, it was a great day racing. You had a what? Third and a sixth. Third and a sixth, and I had an 11th. It'd been nice to get a top 10, but beautiful day. Things went pretty well. Right? I mean, mystery motion. Well, I mean, it's a good day, and then you just kind of think, well, could be down in Florida right now with Casey. Yeah. But if not Florida, New this Castle. is a good, really good spot. Gaining on Casey in the championship a bit. We'll try to update the standings. I'm not sure what they are at the moment. When I find out, you'll find out. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Always fun. Like, share, subscribe.